Let's trade these three names with Lee Munson, president and CIO at Portfolio Wealth Advisors. Lee, welcome to you. AT&T, is this a name that uh, America shouldn't own anymore? Oh, it's kind of like a dumpster fire here. I'm not as concerned about subscriber growth. I think anybody who is going to go do some low-cost carrier at this point has done it. Here's what the core issue is. Um, their cash flow is way off, right? Um, they, they, they couldn't get the earnings, uh, even though we've got 18 analysts who know that thing inside and out. You know, it, it's, it's a bad thing. Here's the problem. Just like some tech companies, just like the Pelotons of the world, they pulled a lot of sales forward in selling the handsets, iPhones, Android phones. And so they, like a lot of companies, people don't want to upgrade. They finally have payments on their phone that no longer exist. And if we're going to go into a slowdown recession, whatever you want to call it, it's not going to bode well for the stock, right? So that's going to hamper growth. Let me get down to what everybody at home's thinking. It's that dividend. That's why people owned it. But now that you can buy a three to six month treasury at slightly below that dividend yield and that dividends in peril, I don't think it's attractive at, at this time. I would love to buy this going like the lows of 18. I'd rather get a 7% dividend yield. If not, I'm just going to disconnect. All right, let's hang up on AT&T. Let's move on to American Express. Should I leave home without it? Um, don't leave home without it. And I'll tell you why. If I had to own a credit card company, whether it's MasterCard, Visa, Capital One, this is the only one that I would own right now. Management's still saying, we're looking to grow 15% revenues this year. It's like, that's confident. Also, they had a blowout on their revenue. I like that they're getting Gen Z and millennials to get involved in these, you know, gold card, platinum card, all that stuff that has to do with luxury buy. They have a higher end clientele. The rich keep spending. I mean, just look at stuff like Hermes stock. It's been on fire, right? So I think that the issue with American Express isn't so much the general slowdown is if they get the reserves right. And also if they can get young people to pay 500 bucks a month to get into a lounge. And business owners, I have to say, I'm a business owner. I have one of those cards so I can get into some lounge at Delta at LAX. It's very nice. Those business owners aren't going to give up those cards anytime soon. It's the only stock in the space I like. In the space. What about the home builder space, which has been such a strong spot lately, highlighted today by DR Horton? You like it? I do. So a year ago or so, I was on the show, asked about this stock and some other home builders. And I said, if you want to speculate, you should. this could be an early mover. Um, but I was right and I was wrong. I thought it was going to be popping right now because the Fed might be cutting or talking about cutting right now. As it turns out, the stock worked up, it has worked out very well because, you know, we don't have any inventory. 30% of all inventory is new construction. So you look at a place like D.R. Horton and the other home builders, of course they're doing well because they're the only place that actually have a home that are available for people to buy and they're going to keep building. Here's my problem with this stock. It's not that I won't love it. And I was telling people, if, if you know you want to roll the dice to do that last year, I would take your profits off the table because it's doing so well. So if you're up 30, 40, 50 percent in 12 months, you know, play with the house's money, take some profits on the table and move forward with your life. I'd love it on a pullback. All right. Lee Munson, thank you. Always good. Always enthusiastic. We appreciate it.